recently I've started to go back and rewatch One Piece and something really caught my eye. It took me about three days to finish the East Blue Saga and I want to talk about Zoro's loyalty. Throughout the series by far we see Zoro as the most loyal straw hat but we don't really know why. One YouTuber made a video about this, I'm not going to say his name, but it's not that I disagree with his video, I feel like he didn't go into as much depth as he could. So here I am to step in, maybe it's because I'm a Zoro fan, who knows. But my name is Potential Unleash, and here's the true reason why Zoro is so loyal to Luffy. To start off, we have to go back to when Zoro was tied up and was said to be executed. He was portrayed to be a bad guy, but in actuality, he wasn't. Originally, Zoro was supposed to last 30 days being tied up and then he would be set free. We later found out that he was stated to be executed. Zoro gained respect for Luffy because he was willing to risk his life for him without knowing who he was. Without Luffy here to save him, his ambition of being the world's greatest swordsman was sure to die there. This allowed him to stay on the path of keeping his promise. When Zoro stated that he'd be the world's greatest swordsman, instead of laughing at it, Luffy welcomed that ambition, claiming that he need no less of that on his crew. With this, Luffy proved to Zoro that no matter what being on his, true, on his crew would ensure that his ambition wouldn't be in jeopardy. Later, we see shortly after Zoro finally gets a chance to fight the man that he was searching for in Mihawk, the world's strongest swordsman. I'm going to show a clip from the fight that really stood out to me. So here's the clip. In this fight, we see that the fight is really one-sided and Zoro is getting his butt handed to him. Even when Johnny and Yasaku, I think that's how you pronounce his name, were going in to help Zoro, Luffy told them not to. If he were to allow them to intervene, then it would go against what they agreed upon in letting him chase his own ambition. Seeing that, no matter what, his captain didn't intervene in a fight made him respect Luffy even more as he claimed to never lose a fight. To another swordsman. You know, I also believe that because of Luffy claiming that he wants to become the Pirate King influence Zoro, that dream is something hard to do, and Luffy says it with ease, claiming that there's nothing he can't do. Uh, you know, on a side note, the road to Pirate King also means fighting many powerful swordsmen, so maybe that's also the reason why he joined. But yeah, Luffy doesn't treat his, uh, his crew like any other pirates that we see. Maybe Shanks is the only one um, that we can argue, but he lets them be independent. A prime example of this is what Zoro says to Chopper when they had the talk. They were like crossing the sand when they got separated. But yeah, I'll show you guys the clip of that, and here it is. On a small fishing boat, Zora asks Luffy why he's so obsessed with becoming the Pirate King. Luffy explains he made a vow to become said Pirate King with an awesome crew that's the same, and that is the same situation with Zoro and his vow to Kuina. He then answers, I see, look at the sky, and he smiles. Unlike any other crew member, Zoro and Luffy both made a vow over an item. Shanks and Luffy over the straw hat, and Zoro and Kuina over the sword. Both of their ideas are similar. Zoro's and Luffy's dreams are so out there that I think that he's never even met a fool with a dream like his. Luffy said to Kobe, if I die for my dream, then it's okay. Zoro on the Bartier ship, like the, the Lecook ship, he said, when I decided to become the world's greatest swordsman, I already threw my life away. Won't you agree that what Zuffy and Laura said are very similar? And this is the true reason Zoro respects Luffy, because he's, a, he's never met a fool with an even more foolish dream than himself. Later, after Ennis lobby, Zoro shows loyalty once again. 
Luffy was about to stray away from the path that he usually walks, and that ca caught Zoro's attention. Seeing that his personality changed, Zoro was willing to leave the crew because of Luffy not being the same man that he fought way back in episode 2 of the anime. Also, I'm going to say a little quick disclaimer. I know that Zoro said he would leave if Luffy didn't man up. Not saying that he was on the verge of leaving. That's a big difference. But lastly, since, Zoro never well, since Luffy never obstructed Zoro from his ambition, he realized if he can't save his own captain and help him achieve his dream, then how can he achieve his? There are two examples of this, but I'm only going to go into detail a little bit on one because the other one is kind of self-explanatory. So I'm going to play two clips. It's going to be the one. The first one's going to be Zoro and Kuma, and the second one will be Zoro and Mihawk. So here it is. そんな野心がありながら<笑> Zora is willing to ask his rival Mihawk to train him so that he can help Luffy achieve his goal. When a man like you swallows his pride, it's always for someone else. Zora realized that without helping Luffy achieve his goal of becoming Pirate King, that he won't be able to achieve his goal and become the strongest swordsman. This right here is truly why Zoro is so loyal to Luffy. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me guys, if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section below, or let me know what points I left out. I feel like I did a really good job on this video explaining why I think Zoro is so loyal to Luffy. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a video. I really appreciate it. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. They'll be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to unleash your potential.